Unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that Lego brought out a new Star Wars lightsaber gift with purchase recently in the form of Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Now this isn't the first time we've had Luke Skywalker's lightsaber build as a gift with purchase, as we also got one back in 2021, where we got the lightsaber he gets given in A New Hope. Predictably, even though the gift with purchase only applied to one set, and that was the UCS barge set, which cost quite a bit, it's sold out and is now on the second hand market for around £100. However, if you were after this, all hope is not lost, because surely you can just buy the parts for cheaper. Well, in this video, I'm going to test that theory and take it a step further. Can we build both of Luke Skywalker's saw lightsabers for cheaper than they are retail? And if so, how much will it actually cost us? So out of the gate, I know some parts aren't going to be available, and that's mainly the nameplates. Even looking on the secondhand market, there was none available, and even if they were, they would be very expensive because of the demand. There is also another bit, which is this drawbar, which comes in this set in the colour dark red, but there was none available on Bricklink or anywhere. And that was because it only came in this colour in this set. So no other set had it in dark red. Once I learned of this, I remedied a solution which looks a bit similar and I'll show you when we've built the lightsabers. So with those problems out of the way, I went ahead and ordered the parts from Lego, which came to £45. And they sure took their sweet time to get here. Turns out I neglected to look at the notice at the top of the page that says it could take up to 15 working days for the order to get to me. But anyhow, some of the parts we needed were out of stock on the LEGO website. So to Bricklink we go, where I bought the parts I couldn't get from LEGO for a further six pounds. I was then able to find a seller on eBay who sells recreations of the nameplates. And while at first I wasn't really bothered about having them, I felt they would complete the set and so I ordered them. And after a bit of a wait, all of the parts have finally arrived. These parts of a Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from A New Hope, which is the lightsaber he received from Obi Wan and Kenobi. So let's quickly build this and take a look at it. That is the lightsaber finished and it looks really cool. I wish LEGO would release these as standalone sets, but then LEGO investors probably wouldn't be too happy about that. And we'd have another and probably bigger Captain Rex scenario. This lightsaber is also the one where I couldn't get that part in dark red. So I changed it to a Technic piece and a dark red round tile. And I think it looks pretty good even with the substitution of parts. Moving on to the next lightsaber, I've grabbed the parts for Luke's next lightsaber, which is the one he wields in The Return of the Jedi and uses in his battle against his father, Darth Vader. Like before, we'll quickly build the lightsaber and take a look at it. Out of both of these lightsabers, I do think this one has the more interesting design. Like it just looks more rugged and industrial looking, which I absolutely love. I also had no issues with parts for this lightsaber besides stock issues for these black bits and this long teeth bit on the other lightsaber. So here are the two lightsabers together, but have we managed to get both of Luke Skywalker's lightsabers for cheaper than buying off the second hand market? Absolutely we did. The parts from LEGO were £45, Bricklink parts were £6 so we'll add that on and then we have another £15 and £10 for the nameplates. This together makes £66 and £10 which is a lot cheaper. For comparison just one of these lightsabers can cost around the £100 mark. So to get both for less than £70 is really good. But would I recommend going this route? If you're like me and you're not bothered about the box instructions and the official printed plates and you're also someone who would build it anyway and discard all those things then yeah I definitely recommend this method. It does take a bit of time to get sorted with parts but on Bricklink you can't actually add parts from a set to a wanted list assuming it has been inventoried already and then you can use this wanted list that you've made to buy the parts from Bricklink sellers so that does make it a bit easier. Otherwise you can do it manually from the inventory page from any instruction booklet from sets. In fact I had to do this for one 
one of the lightsabers as it hadn't been in retrieved yet on Bricklink and I couldn't add the parts to a watch list from there. Hopefully I've opened a few people's minds to the idea of getting their favourite sets by buying the parts through Bricklink or Lego, especially if you're not bothered about parts that may be exclusive to the set or the box or instructions. Because some of us actually do build our sets, he says, with quite a few Lego sets in storage. <laughs> Oops. With that though, that brings us to the end of the video. Until next time though guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in the next video.